Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Evan, and I'm here with Sam. And today, we're going to be showing you how to use Tatum's NFT marketplace to sell uh, an external NFT, so one that could come from anywhere, for an ERC-20 token. So, for example, you could sell an NFT on um, Ethereum, but sell it for USDT or any custom ERC-20 token that you want to sell it for. So this will save you a lot of time. You don't have to build anything yourself at the application level. This is all done at the blockchain level, uh, and Sam's going to show you how to use it. So take it away, Sam. Thank you, Evan. Hey, guys. So as Evan said, we are gonna we are gonna show you how to work with our marketplace contract and marketplace stuff we have built for you, and how to put NFT on a sale for the for the fixed price, and the price will be will be paid in ERC twenty token. So usually, you want or some authors or some people want to want to sell their NFTs they have created for some stable coins, for example USDT or USDC. Or you have your own coin in inside your, for example, your game, and you want to put your your gaming assets, which are NFTs, for sale for your in-game US uh, for your in-game ERC20 token, and everything is available for you. And I'm going to show you how to do it and how to how to build everything from scratch in like five or six API calls. First step here is to deploy the marketplace. This is the one-time operation. Just deploy the marketplace and everything uh, is set up for you forever. And you can just put NFTs on sale on the marketplace. The marketplace has two like important properties in, in, in the deploy operation, in the creation of the marketplace. And that's the fee and the fee recipient, of course. The fee is the number of, of, of percent which will be which will be paid from the each trade which is done on the marketplace so for example i'm selling my my nft for one ethereum and the marketplace fee is 10 percent so me as a marketplace owner and i am the fee recipient i will receive zero like 10 percent of that one ethereum so 0 0.1 ethereum as a, as my as my profit so this is what you this is what you need to set up. So you can use the fee recipient, and these two hundred and fifty represents two and a half percent of the of the recipient. You can choose the chain you want to build on. It could be Matic, it could be Ethereum, it could be Binance Smart Chain, or any other any other chain we we have support for. And let's just deploy the marketplace. The result of this operation is a transaction ID, and uh, you can see in the transaction that it returns the new contract address, the new contract, and that's the marketplace contract you are gonna you are gonna use. In the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna mint NFT. I don't have NFT right now. I'm just gonna mint some for this, and this NFT is just standard NFT you can buy on, on any other marketplace out there or you're gonna mint for your for your purpose for your game or for your for your content the result is a transaction id and we can check it we can check it in the explorer that the nft is actually is actually there yes we can see that we have minted token number which ends with 51 and we're gonna put this nft on sale and let's Put it on sale for uh, some ERC20 token. We are using Polygon Testnet, uh, which is uh, quite nice, nice chain for testing out and playing around. It's quite, it's quite cheap. It's a uh, layer two for Ethereum. A lot of NFTs are 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 moving there, and and uh, they have very nice Testnet faucet. Testnet faucet is some some. Um, page or, or utility application which gives you some testnet assets you want to play around when we check out their faucet you can choose which token you want to receive and you can receive test erc20 token you can receive the matic as the base token for paying the currency but you can choose also some test erc20 token as well and you just 
paste here the address of the of the ERC20 token, of the address of your wallet where you want to receive this ERC20 token. I'm going to work today. I'm going to work today with uh, ERC20 chain link on the testnet for on of Polygon. And it has this address. So let's check it out in the in the Explorer. We can see there is some, some testnet chain link. You can see that there is like 1 billion of those available here. And I'm going to put my NFT for sale and I want to receive some chain links. So what I'm going to do right now, I have minted the NFT on this contract address. So now I'm going to create new listing of this NFT where I put where I put my NFT contract address as an NFT address property in this operation. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell my token, which ends with five one. The marketplace I have deployed has a, has a its own contract address. I'm gonna use it as a contract address in this operation. In general, when you are wanna interact with any smart contract using our API, the contract address is always the address of the contract you want to invoke some operation or some functionality. Right now, I'm going to call create new listing for my NFT on my marketplace contract. So the contract address is the address of the marketplace contract. I'm going to put the NFT on sale and NFT address is the address of the NFT contract for token number 51. I'm going to create new listing number one. I'm going to sell the NFT, which is ERC721 standard. So this should be set to true. I'm going to sell my NFT for 0 0.01 chain link. ERC20 address should be contract address of the chain link, or in your case, any ERC20 token you want to put your NFT on sale for. And the seller should be address of the of the recipient of the funds where, where you want to receive the 0 0.01 chain links. So let's create a listing. The result is a transaction ID. And this transaction ID we can check on the we can check it on the explorer. There's nothing special here. You'll just see that there's uh, that there is a new operation happened. The listing was created here. You can check out the details of the listing using get listing operation, where you put the address of the listing and ID of that, address of the smart contract and ID of the listing. And you can see that we have put NFT with token ID for sale for 0 0.01. And it's a seven to one contract, and we put it on sale for chain link. The state of the listing is zero, which means initialized. There is no buyer right now. We have just created the listing. No one has bought it. In general, in blockchain, what you must know, and you already know that no one can transfer your assets from your wallet without your permission. So if you put your NFT on sale to the, to the to some other blockchain contract, in our case, the marketplace contract, you need to approve or you need to allow this contract to transfer your NFT from you to the new buyer. And from the buyer perspective, if you want to buy some and if some NFT from the contract for your ERC20 tokens, you need to approve this marketplace contract that it can transfer your ERC20 tokens from you to the seller of the NFT. Without that, it will not work because the marketplace can't touch assets of some random people on the blockchain and transfer it. That's just not possible. You, as the owner of these assets, must allow Marketplace to transfer these assets on behalf of you. 
So what we need to do right now, we need to approve transferring our NFT by mar to marketplace. So marketplace can transfer the NFT. That's this step. You as the owner of the NFT want to approve, want, you want to allow this spender, which is the marketplace, to transfer your NFT from this contract. So you are interacting with the NFT smart contract. You are telling it to that this spender is able to transfer this token. The same applies for the ERC20. You as the owner of the chain link tokens want to approve this spender to transfer 0.02 chain links on behalf of you. And right now you can, you as a buyer, you can see the private keys are the same for approving and for buying. You as a buyer can buy the contract address, can, can buy the listing from the marketplace contract address for chain link. So let's check out this transaction ID. What we have done here in this buy, you as a buyer have bought listing number one from the marketplace. So your ERC20 tokens, your chain links were transferred to the seller. The seller NFT was transferred to you as a buyer and the marketplace fee was paid to the, to the fee recipient as well. So you can see the details of a transaction. NFT was transferred from the seller to the buyer. Buyer has paid the marketplace fee. Buyer has paid to the seller 0 0.01 chain links. What you can see here, there is one warning present in the, uh, in the transaction. The warning is here because our marketplace automatically checks if the NFT, which is being transferred uh, and, and sold, is the type of Tatum royalty NFT, which can pay on-chain royalties for the royalty recipients. And the, the, the only possible solution on the blockchain level is to do some internal checks because the smart contract language is not so powerful as it could be. And we need to do some internal checks, which ends in some internal errors. These errors are not causing any troubles. It's just the warning and everything runs correctly and tokens are transfers, transferred as it should be. So everything is has done, has been done as it should. The NFT was transferred, the royalties, the, the, the fees were paid and the price for the NFT was paid again as well. So thank you guys, and I'm looking forward for our next next video. Thanks, Sam. So uh, yeah, be sure to check out the next videos. Uh, we're going to get into how to work with marketplace smart contracts using our royalty NFTs, um, both with native assets and with ERC20 tokens. So uh, check those out in the link below and see you guys later.